somebody that learned how to put broccoli in a fry. I love trying new things in the freezer department because there's always something different. What a great way to eat your veggies. Fried. Yum. I'm currently making some homemade etouffee sauce gravy to go on top of my swine fish. Basically, all I used was brown gravy that I bought from Aldi. You know, we like to make it quick, simple, and easy at Food by Nichelle. Brown gravy, I put a little seasoning in it, salt, pepper, garlic, red pepper flakes, and I also put a little canned gravy in here too, just to give it a little bit more flavor. So, all of those ingredients can be bought at the grocery store, and I'm going to pour this over some fish right here. This is my swai fish that I'm going to pour that over. It's kind of a, I guess a New Orleans kind of flavor that I'm going to give it. And then I'm going to set that, the fish and the gravy on top of some jasmine rice, and this will be my dinner for the evening. Food by Nichelle. Quick, simple, easy, and scrumptious. Yum. So the gravy is ready, and I'm getting ready to pour it on top of the fish, as I mentioned. And I forgot to mention also, I put butter inside the gravy, just so it give it gives it a little buttery flavor. Everything, like Paula Dean would say, everything is great with butter. Yum. Food by Michelle. Put this on top of some rice. I typically put peppers in it, but I didn't have any today, so I just made what I had, and I'm going to make it a meal. Again, fried fish, which is swai. And then I have my jasmine rice that I purchased. It's in a bag, and I just put it in the microwave. Uh, once you can see it, jasmine rice, put it in the microwave to cook it. And then I made my etouffee sauce, and then fried some fish. Quick, simple, easy. I put batter on my fish with egg. That's so important when cooking fried fish. Make sure you put that egg and that seasoning on there. Different seasonings, salt and pepper, seasoned salt garlic pepper as you always hear me say speak about garlic powder onion powder just to give it some flavor and then when you put the etouffee on it after you get through making it yum i know this sounds kind of backwards but i just thought about it i'm like let me put this on video to let people see that you can make a meal out of little to nothing so this is my fried excuse me saturday evening family dish make it a great evening food by michelle